I am a creative person. You know, my mom told me that even when I was in the womb, like I was dancing along the music. I really found the ones. I started painting and then doing drama and then eventually leading into music, which is one of my greatest passions now. And it was just fulfilling in a way that everything else was it. I am very close to my parents, especially my dad. He would always tell me that the longest journey starts with a single step. When you have a dream or an ambition and it's so far away and so high enough, you can feel overwhelmed. But when you look at it just one step at a time, one day you're going to look up from your feet and you'll be at your destination. In this particular edition, let me share with you the questions asked to me during my recent interviews which really helped me a lot to land the job that I have right now. We all know that I am one of those unfortunate OFWs here in Dubai who had lost their jobs because of COVID-2019. And I think it's very timely and relevant to share these personal major interview tips not just for my country, the Philippines, but for every single individual all over the world who are still looking for jobs during this pandemic season. So we will use again the demotic device Robbie, R-O-B-I, for easier reference. So let's begin. I personally pick the question and answer that best represent each tip I had in here. So to begin with, interview tip number one, letter R. Respond truthfully to the questions asked with authenticity and positivity. Keep it concise and focused. So John, if I may ask you, why did you go abroad? Why Dubai? It's because every day of my life in the Philippines, I would ask myself, what if, what if, what if? And I believe that what if are two different words. If you put them separately, they don't have significance at all. But if you put them together side by side, they can have the power to haunt you for the rest of your life. This was actually the very first job interview question I had here in Dubai when I first landed here in 2014. I remember that the interviewer turned emotional because of my answer because for me, I answered it truthfully with all honesty and with emotion. So it appeared really very realistic. So I also kept it very concise. It's very brief, but it contains positivity that uh, Dubai is really a good opportunity for me for a better and greener pasture. Interview tip number two, letter O. Offer your interview to the Lord. Ask for the divine intervention. So, John, how do you find enjoyment at work? I always do things as if I'm doing it for the Lord and not just for the person asking me to do it. And that's how I find enjoyment at work. Okay, so does it mean that you will no longer follow your superiors and line managers? Doing things for the Lord doesn't necessarily mean that I will no longer submit or obey my line managers and superiors. Because I believe if you are a God-fearing and a God-loving person, it follows that you must love your neighbors as well as you love yourself. This question and answer was actually my biggest moment this year, 2020. I really felt the divine intervention. Because I'm a firm believer that you have to do your best and God will do the rest. When I started talking about God, there's no more question to it. There's no more rebuttal. It can never be questioned. So it really sealed the deal for the current job that I have right now. So it's really recommendable and advisable for you to start with a prayer before going to your job interview to ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to give you the wisdom and the knowledge that you will be needing during the job interview and for God to touch your interviewees to ask the questions only that can easily be answered by you. Interview tip number three, letter B. Be specific, be detailed. If necessary, use the STAR method. S stands for situation, C for task, A for actions, and R for results. 
How do you handle conflicts? Conflicts are inevitable. I handle them with a clear and sound mind. I always go to the roots of the conflict. Why it happened, how it happened, and who are the persons involved. Then I'll come up with a possible resolution. Once I have it, I'll communicate it to the involved persons with utmost respect. Because I believe that good communication is the best key to solve any conflicts. And that's how I handle it. So this particular Q&A was actually asked during the initial interview uh, for the current job that I have right now. So it really helped me to be shortlisted. So how I answered it is I used the STAR method. So I, have, I was given a situation. So there's a conflict. So what are you going to do? There's a task. So a task for you is to solve the conflict. How are you going to solve the conflict? So for me, you have to go to the roots of it. So why it happened, how it happened, and who are the persons involved? And what are the actions? You have to arrive with a possible resolution. And of course, you have to communicate that possible resolution to the involved persons. And what is actually the result? The result will be the possible resolution of the conflict through good communication. So just be specific, be detailed with your answer, and if necessary, use that star situation, task, action, and result mnemonic device. And last but not the least, interview tip number four, letter I, impress. Make an impression, make yourself and your job interview itself remarkable. What demotivates you at work? I think that the only thing that demotivates me at work is the same thing that motivates me as well. It's like a blank space of paper with a dot on it, whereas the dot represents even the smallest mistakes that I've done for which I will always be remembered and not for the white blank space that represents all the good things and contributions I've given and done to the company for which I will never be recognized. But I always see to it that I treat each new day at work as an opportunity for me to better and improve myself, not just for myself, but for the company as well. So in this particular question and answer, I think the employer is having his courteous way of asking me about my previous employment. So to make an impression, of course, I did not speak negatively about my previous experience and my previous employment. So what I did, I just answered him, that what demotivates me at work is the same thing that motivates me as well. And then I ended the answer with a positivity that I treat each new day at work with uh, an opportunity for me to improve myself, not just for myself, but for the company as well. So I think that's a good impression on the part of the interviewer and that makes it really remarkable.